This is fucked up. And we can still watch the pretty sunsets at night after night. So, all right. So I'm in the Steam directory. People are saying go to Steam apps. Okay. Now I see common downloading shader cache, shorts, mods, and temp. I don't see... I went into common. And now I see... I don't see this game. It's not there. Downloading? There's nothing there. There's nothing in shader cache. There's nothing in anything. There's nothing in that file. There's no Doki Doki files. Pobo X says she'll talk about 20, 60 different topics over the course of two hours, but you can delete her file at any point, I guess, to end the game. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get to it. I don't know how to get to the game. I don't know where it is. Oh, people are saying actually open up Steam. Okay, let me open up Steam. Hold on. Okay. So I'm, I'm in Steam right now. I went to my library of games. Doki Doki Literature Club running. I right clicked on it. And what do I do? Properties? N local files? Browse local files. Aha! Alright, it was in a totally different place. I apparently I store I store my Steam games on a separate hard drive, which I didn't even know. Alright, here it is. So Characters. Yeah, there she is. I, I found the file. I found the Monica file. Okay. So, Monica file's there. Uh, do I delete it? Right? I just got a $5 tip from Monica. She says, you tell you to delete me? Don't listen to them. Haha. <laughs> Alright. I guess I just delete this file. Alright, ready? Let's see what happens. I did. I deleted it. Oh. Oh, look. Whoa. What's happening? Fulsama, what's happening? It hurts. Ha. It hurts so much. Help me, Fulsama. Wow. Please hurry and help me. Yeah, look. Help me. We defeated her. We defeated Monica, the evil bitch. Did you do this to me, Fulsama? Did you? Did you delete me? Delete! 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 Delete that bitch! We deleted her. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything! I loved you so much, Vilsama. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? <clears throat> I wasn't kind in the first place to her. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Filsama, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Okay, that's it. Delete. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... <clears throat> wow. Apparently there's less than 10 minutes left in the game, by the way. I made up my mind. Phil Sama, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I love them all. And I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. If I really love you... Oh, here you go. She's going to do it. Then... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The game is not suitable for children. <laughs> Doki Doki. Oh, she's gone. 
She's gone. And there's no saves. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. And look who it is. There already is one girl. That girl is Yuri, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. She's back. Alright, Mazel is cheers. I enjoyed your session. I want you to realize your voice will be sore, raw garlic, and honey. And there you go. God bless. Thank you, Mozales. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up the habit once again. Well, Sam, are you proud of me? For what? You know, for walking, waking up on time. Oh, wow, she woke up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. See, everything's changed. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Phil Sama, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell you that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Ah, so there's the twist. Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm, I think I'll keep it as a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the group number of the club. I saw a, a flyer. I walk across the school upstairs to the third floor. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Hello? Ah, Philsama, what are you doing here? I just... I glanced around the room. Huh. So you're the Philsama series talking about? Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Philsama. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, is the assertive one. Well, it's time to be nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Phil Sama, don't tell me you're... That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Well, if Sayori's happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh -huh. what, an appropriate, what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah, after all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table. How about I make some tea? The girls have a few desks arranged at the table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori and Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, little pieces of chocolate we use to make ears. So cute! Those look amazing! Well, you know, just hurry and take one. Siri grabs the first one and I follow. It's delicious! See what talks with her mouthful has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor, and I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. <clears throat> okay. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. There you go. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us, blah, blah, blah. Keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Already trying to impress the new member, blah, blah, blah. Insulted Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be a pastime, blah, blah, blah. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. What kind of things do you like to read? Here we go again. He barely reads manga. And then, of course, Natsuki perks up because she likes manga. Not much of a reader. Well, that could change. I spoke without thinking, blah, blah, blah. It's all the same dialogue. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. Blah, blah, blah. It's the same shit she said three times already, so I'm not reading it again. All right. Hey, Yuri. How about, you know, the first thing he said? Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. 
Manga is literature too, you know. There you go. If someone wants to read some of my manga, don't try to stab him or anything. Okay. Wouldn't do such a thing. However, it would also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. And take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe since the tension Siori jumps in, maybe we could all try something new. It could be fun and we'll all get to know each other a little better. That's the kind of thing literature clubs do. Alright. I guess that means I should try picking up a novel. That would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, I have to read manga. They're gonna make Yuri has to read manga and she has to read a novel. That's pretty funny. All right, should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. I didn't realize. But the guilty expression Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, I'll I'll, re I'll offer my gratitude and read a manga to, uh, to read. It makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Uh, let's see. Mozalis says that Akazando asked for his shout out, so for the last bits, I'm gifting. Good night, Phil. Be blessed. Have a good night, Mozalis. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Now, Yuri and, and Natsuki, Natsuki are getting along. They're going to go to the bookstore together. Look at this. Okay. This is so cute. So Yuri, shut up. I'll show you some manga there, too, okay? Yes. I'll look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. I guess the meeting's over. Looks like it. Nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Phil-sama. You think so? Everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Phil-sama, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Whatever, I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're putting it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Phil-sama, I really want to thank you. I'm really happy you joined the club and everything. The truth is, I already knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Wow! That's right. I know everything she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy, and I know all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. None of that matters. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Forever. Okay. Hey, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Oh, I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Siori. Goodbye, Filsama. Goodbye, Literature Club. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Doki Doki Literature Club. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. What a nice game. Being close down into a dark puddle. Yeah. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. Come on. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? take just to find that special day and that's Doki Doki Literature Club what an amazing game the one thing is we didn't play it to know Natsuki right so we don't actually know what she would have done we don't know how she probably would have died too yeah look these are all pictures of Natsuki I guarantee you, like, Natsuki would have ended up dying, too, if we had befriended her. Yeah, see, they're, now they're showing all the different pictures of the scenarios. See that? I wonder how Natsuki would have died. 
Popsicolo says this is like that time Troy Baker played guitar at the end of Bioshock Infinite in the credits. It is. Happy, happy play. What the hell is that picture of? Wait a minute. He's got her pinned down on the floor. What was that? What in the fuck was that? Did you see that? He had her pinned down on the floor. That was bizarre, dude. Does my pen oh, is that all? Popsicolo says that Natsuki gets her neck broken and her face blacked out. Oh, that's all? <laughs> Wait a minute, we didn't see that. That was Sayori. We didn't get to see that one. So I guess your choices really affect the, the scenarios you see. So you can replay the game to do the poems for the other girls and pick the other girls and you get to these different pictures and different scenarios. Yeah. Wow. It's deleting all the pictures. I love it. Delete everything. Delete all that shit. Special thanks to Monica and Phil Sama. <laughs> this song, No Lie, reminds me of the credits of uh, Portal. When you had GLaDOS singing to you, Still Alive. Right? That was perfect. That's great. That was a good game, man. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Lit Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found to the very end. It continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and worst of all, thank you for being part of my Literature Club with everlasting love, Monica. There you go. And the game closes. Now I'm curious, right? Can I reboot the game and what happens? I'm rebooting you right now. <clears throat> That's it. Wow. Guess what? It's the letter pops up again. You guys can't see it because it's glitched out here. It's not capturing. There it is. It just boots to the letter again. In order to replay the game, you actually have to un... un Install and reinstall the game. See, that's cool. Here's where I like this. It's a game that breaks the fourth wall and it does weird shit that other games don't do. How many other games, right, do crazy stuff like that? No game is you go into the files of the game and delete a file. The last game that comes to mind is a game like Metal Gear Solid where you had to unplug controllers from one port and put it into the other port to beat Psycho Mantis. That's cool when you have to do stuff. That was really cool. I actually really like that twist. That was actually, honestly, that was worth getting through two and a half hours of fucking boredom because tonight I had two and a half hours of fun with it. That was a good game. That was a well-designed game and I give that two thumbs up. I wish I had a third thumb so I could give it three thumbs up. So we'll give it two thumbs up and I'll give it a uh, Vault Boy bobblehead up. Two thumbs up and a Vault Boy bobblehead up for Doki Doki Literature Club. I actually really like that. Okay. Now wait a minute. Extra Cheese did a 50-bit cheer. He said, delete the first run file from the game directory, open the game, delete Monica's file, and start a new game. What the fuck? How do I do that? Delete the first run file from game directory. How the fuck? Where is the... There's no first run file in the game directory. There's copyright ddlc.exe, ddlc.py, ddlc.sh, log, readme, and trace back, and then a bunch of folders. Oh, wait. Here it is. Okay, hold on. I'm deleting it. I deleted first run. Okay. Now, let's say open the game now. Okay. I'm opening the game. Whoa. Now, look what happened. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys because it takes us a minute for it to be... Here it is. So, here's what just happened. It says, previous save files found. Would you like to delete your save data and start over? Do I say yes or no? What do I do here? What do I do here? Or do I delete the Monica file? Popsicolo says no. Extra she says yes. Popsicolo says no. I don't understand. Well, I don't know what we're doing. So I don't know what we're doing here. What am I supposed to do? 
All right, so I'm supposed to say yes, everyone's saying. Okay. All right. What happened? It fucking shrunk. <laughs> the game shrunk. I agree. The game shrunk, and I don't know why. The window shrunk. I think it deleted my my uh, settings. This is weird. It like... What the fuck? Oh my god, dude, the game's all fucked up. I don't know what happened now. Now it won't even capture properly. Look, it basically deleted my settings. Right? And now it won't capture properly. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now. I gotta close the game, I'm being told. Quit. So I closed the game. It crashed, by the way. Now people say, delete Monica. Okay. I'm deleting her. I deleted her. She's gone. Okay. She's gone completely. Now start the game. Okay. Fuck. This better be the end. Alright, here we go. No, she's still there. I deleted the file, but she's still there. So it didn't work. It didn't work. She's still there. Just go to a new game. Enter your name. Oh, I'm gonna see if Osama returns. What? This? What is this? Oh no. No, this can't be it. This can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop. Make it stop. It crashed. That was it. It ended. The game closed itself. That's it. Is that it? Is that the end? That's the true ending? The game just closes itself? <laughs> People are saying, open it again. Oh my god, does this never end? Holy fuck, dude. Oh god! Now it says end. It says end. You guys can't see it yet. Oh my god! You guys are... Here we go. It said end, and now it shows her she killed herself. What the fuck? Wow. So it just shows her dead again. It's fucked up. So is that is that the true ending now? Are we done? Because I can't even close the game now. <laughs> okay, so Kekin says, this is what happens if you delete Monica early. Sayori learns the truth too early. And she kills herself. What the fuck? Okay. Grand Priest says, Bring the president in this game, if you go by the lore of the game, gives you fourth wall breaking abilities. So Siri couldn't handle the truth and kills herself. Wow. Oh, yeah, if we wait 10 minutes, it has dialogue. I'm not waiting 10 minutes, so that's going to be it. All right, is that it? I can't do anything. Look, you can't get out. It's over. I can't even quit the game. I'm locked. Look, I can't. Kekin says that's pretty much what there is. The game is full of cool stuff like this. So I guess you could get screwed around, right? You can screw around with the game and delete files and see what happens, right? I wonder if you could delete, uh... What is it? Alt F4 people are saying? Oh, Alt-Tab will get me out of it. I know that. 
Alt tab will allow me to get out of it, but then I gotta control alt delete to close it, I guess, right? Yeah, I can't even close it manually. Alright, I'm just gonna manually close it to control alt delete. Alright, close this shit. Good. So, Extra G says, if you wait about 10 minutes, the game will say, the, the screen will change. It says, it says something like, now we can all be happy or something. Pretty pretty crazy, huh? That was a good game, all right? I definitely liked the game. I hope that you guys enjoyed the game. Um, that is very different from a normal game, right? Fourth wall breaking, pretty crazy. I enjoyed it. I want to say thanks for people who did eventually uh, convince me to try out all the different options and just play the game and play through it and suffer. Honestly, kind of suffer through the first two and a half hours to get to the good stuff because that was pretty good. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed it on stream. Sad part is, I know what's going to happen. These videos, when I put them on YouTube, no one's going to watch them because the first two and a half hours is so fucking boring that people are going to be like, I'm not going to watch through all that to finally get to the good stuff. I'm going to try to post on Twitter tonight and be like, no, guys, listen. To not, for what I post up tonight, you want to watch tonight's videos because tonight is where the shit happens and it's great, you know. Um, but it just sucks that maybe you know people won't actually get to see it. So, all right, so folks, I gotta get going. It's late. All right, I gotta upload these videos. I'm tired. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for watching, whether you watched on stream or on YouTube. And thank you for your support. And peace out. If any more weird, wild, great games like this end up showing up, please. Let me know, and I'll check them out. Thanks, everyone. Peace out.